Hello everyone, welcome back to this uh, back off motion control series video. In the previous video, I used my laptop and this virtual machine running as a controller. And I used this virtual access as access. And after I download this project into my laptop and run this project, and then I go to this access, click this uh, online and use this commissioning panel to test this access. And once I set this uh, enable, and once I click this uh, jog, and reverse jog, so we can see this access start to run, and it give us the feedback. If you are connecting the actual hardware, this is a very good tool, allows you to test your drive system, encoder feedback, as well as the mechanical system. Once you basically set up this uh, motion control system, next things before you start to program, you probably need to do an optimization your motion control. For example, adjust the controller gain factor or parameter, or adjust the acceleration or deceleration to basically optimize your motion system. Sometimes you will see the mechanical system has an acceleration or the ramp up or ramp down too slow or too fast. So probably you need to optimize. But which way allows us to clearly see the acceleration, deceleration, or some performance, how we can monitor those things? Probably the tool you could use, that is a curve. You could drag the velocity and the positioning value so we can monitor the curve and verify the performance of the drive. So in this video, we will mainly talk about how can we use the curve tool to monitor the velocity and the actual position. All right, we will use the one tool from this TwinCat 3 software. Okay, firstly, let's go offline. Shift to the config mode. And then I will right click, click new, click this project, click TwinCat measurement. We will use this uh, TwinCat measurement tool. And we will use this uh, YT scope project. The YT means the X axis that is time, the Y axis that is uh, the value. And keep in mind here, when we set up this YT scope project, I highly recommend you set up this project under the same directory as this solution project. Okay, so I'm gonna go to browse. Okay, this is my TwinCat MC sample, this solution. I will set up this TwinCat measurement, this project under this same directory. Okay, and TwinCat measurement, the selection is create a new solution, add to solution. We could select this, add to solution. We will add this uh, measurement, this project under this solution, okay? After we create this project, next things we will go to the date pool and right click, click this uh, target browser. And then we will browse this uh, controller. And because I'm using my laptop running as the controller, so firstly, I need to run this controller first. So I will click this, uh, restart TwinCat system. Okay, I will let it run first, and then right click this data pool, and you will see it turn to green. This is my laptop, that is in a virtual machine. Expand here, we will find the three selection here. For now, we can select this, 501 TC motion control here and you will see the axis. When you expand here, we will see this three axis. So if I go to the left, motion, so this is three axis. And this, 851, port 851, that is this. Here we can browse some tag from this PLC project. Now, we haven't set up anything from this PLC project. We haven't started to program yet. So we directly browse a tag from this motion configuration here. So we will select this. This allows us to browse some type directly from this access configuration. And because I'm using this virtual access three, so if we expand here, we will see all those value are showing here. Okay, now we can pick some important value. For example, I will pick this uh, actual position. And sometimes in actual case, you could pick this uh, actual torque you will see when the motion try to stop or reverse the direction, what the actual torque that show moment will be. Using this torque value, we could also have a rough sense about the current from this motor. 
Okay, and then let's go down and let's click this two PLC. I'm trying to grab another bull signal that is a not moving signal. So when that signal on, that means this axis is at a stop status or standing still status. Two PLC, that means this is one feedback signal from the motion to the PLC, the logic side. Let's expand here. Two PLC status the word and within this D word, we will see this ball not moving. So when it's on, that means this axis is not moving. It's at a standstill status. So we can grab this not moving to this state pool. Okay, we have a three data here. Close this window. And from here, YT chat, this axis group, that means this. So because we have a position value, velocity and not moving, that is one bool, they don't have the same unit. That means we need a three axis here. So from this YT chart, click this new axis. So we will see it add one axis here. So let's create a new one. So we set up three. The first one, we can name it actual position. Okay, so we can drag this tag, go to here. And this, we name it actual velocity. Drag this tag to here. And the third one, so we can name this is axis for bool. Okay, and then we can drag to here. And for this axis bool, if we try to config range, so we can click this axis here and expand. This is a property of this uh, axis. So for this bool, we can select the maximum and the minimum this value. For here, manual max and the manual min. So probably we can select 1.5 and minus 1.5 because that's the bull signal. That value will be a zero to one, right? Don't forget to select this scale mode to manual. So after we select this, we will see here a change from minus 1.5 to 1.5 here, okay? And actual position. So same thing, this actual position we can change to 1000 and to minus 1000, minus 1000 and change to menu, okay? And speed, speed I will leave this area as a default with this uh, default auto grown only that will be dynamic it will auto fit for this range according to the value okay and also you can change the color for example this actual position this is a green so we could change to red or other color and this not moving for example i'm going to change the line color to the red okay change the color also, you can change the size, okay? For example, this actual position, we can change to two. And now to start this recording, so we can click this uh, start record. There's no button around here. So once we set up this measurement project, it will pop up this small toolbar here, this button. Now it start to recording. And here, because this signal this not moving signal now is on. It covers this area. So we can select something. Let's go to the access bool. And to solve this uh, cover this area, so we can click this uh, bool. We want to change the line only. So we will see this field mode from the signal setting here, this property. So we can select to the nothing, none. So it will only show the line, okay? And for other, like a real value. So the field mode default, it will show now. Okay, so let it run here. Let's go to the access. This access three virtual, double click. And let's drag this commissioning panel, flow it. Now let's enable here, enable everything, click this all. So we'll see, it will enable everything and default size is 100 override, okay? So now if I click this uh, slow jog, we will see this blue means actual velocity. 
and this position will growing up. That is a positioning value. And because now it's moving, so this red, this not moving signal go to zero. That means this axis is moving. Once I release the button, now the axis stop. So this signal on. And this position value will be increased. And this velocity changed to zero, right? And if we go reverse, So we will see this y axis of the velocity will be automatically adapt its range. And this uh, green curve, this positioning y axis, we select the menu, we fix this range. So this green, this y axis won't be changed. Okay, let's go faster. So we will see this uh, dark blue, it changed to higher. Now it's running 600 millimeter per second. That is a 600 millimeter per second. Now the speed changed to zero. And this axis stop. And this not moving tag, this variable shows on. That means axis is not moving. And if we click this pause, and we can move. To analyze the joy performance, we can zoom this corner to find out when this speed going up to reach to our target acceleration or deceleration will be, what the jerk will be. And for the position control, if we want to push the system a little bit more aggressive, we can make this uh, corner a uh, sharper than before. So based on the curve, we can optimize the acceleration deceleration. We can adjust or optimize the parameter. Other than the parameter, we can also go to the axis and go to this control and select this parameter and optimize some parameters for the control here. All right, this is the tool that built in into the TwinCAD. So it's very easy and very handy. We do not need to install any additional software. Also, before we start to use our program to control this access, that is very essential to set up a certain tool allowing us to monitor, to watch, to verify the joy performance and the actual position value. For example, if you are going to use the sequence control to control the position, that time you can set up the sequence number as well as this positioning value. So you can clearly see at which step number this axis position will be. So using this way, you can troubleshoot your program. So the curve will be very handy. In next video, we will start the PLC motion control programming I will show how can we program the access power, reset, relative move, absolute move. All right, that is for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you for watching.